of the Lord God of Israel, under whose wings thou art come to trust. Now, let me unpack that statement right there. It has been, it has come to my attention that you have come to trust the Lord God of Israel, that you have made it your duty to look out for for Naomi and your reputation has preceded you. And as the United Scriptures say, uh, uh, bless them that bless thee. Well, guess what? Uh, Ruth decided she's going to be a blessing to Naomi. And um, uh, God is going to bless anybody who's a blessing to, know, to Naomi. It's just that simple. So the Lord recompense thy work, and a full reward be given thee of the Lord God of Israel, under whose wings thou art come to trust. Okay, now let me put this in the uh, in the vernacular so that you can understand uh, what God's uh, plan is for the immigrant among us. Those who come to trust in the American dream, they got full access. If they're willing to pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, if they're willing to learn the principles of the Constitution uh, under which we live uh, and the, the system of governance, and they, they, they want to live under this system and they are willing to cast aside the system of their, of their native country and they chose to be in America, then the blessings of of America's bounty should be upon them. And if anybody can't get that, then you you don't understand what being a, a, what, what, what being an American is all about. And she said, let me find favor in thy sight, my Lord, for that thou hast comforted me, and thou hast spoken freely unto thine handmaid, though I be not like one un." Like one of thine, one one of thine handmaids. And Boaz said unto her, At meal time, come thou here, then eat of the bread, and dip thy morsel in the vinegar. And she sat beside the reapers, and she reached her parched corn, and, and he reached her parched corn, and she did eat, and was sufficed and left. So basically, a, a Boaz took food off his plate and gave it to her. He, he, he deliberately showed her the kindness of God. So when the strangers among you come upon you and, and they might need a little help, go ahead and give it to them. Because they didn't come to be lazy. They came to work. They came to work the American dream just like you do. And don't be afraid of that because they ain't going to do nothing but make it good for everybody. And when she was risen up to glean, Boaz commanded his young men, saying, Let her glean even among the sheaves, and reproach her not, and let fall some of the handfuls of purpose for her, and leave them, that she may glean them, and rebuke her not. So she gleaned in the field unto even, and beat out that which she had gleaned, and it was about it was about an ephah of barley, and she took it up, and went to the city, and her mother-in-law saw that she had gleaned, and she brought forth and gave her that which had which had reserved after she was sufficed. And her mother-in-law said unto her, Where hast thou gleaned today? And where wroughtest thou? Blessed be he that did take knowledge of thee. And she showed her mother-in-law with whom she, she had wrought, and said, the man's name with whom I wrought today is Boaz. And when Naomi said unto her daughter-in-law, Blessed be he of the Lord, who had not left off his kindness to the living and to the dead. And Naomi said unto her, The man is near of kin unto us, one of our next kinsmen. Let me stop right there for a minute. Naomi, all of a sudden, and Naomi said, oh, oh, wait a minute now. We finna get blessed. The man is a near kinsman, and if he done took a shine to you, uh, Naomi, she, she, uh, she thinking long term, okay? Naomi said, uh oh, wait a minute, uh, uh, my poverty is going to come to an end, Naomi can see the light, she done seen the light. 
You never see a paycheck in this thing. That part. She said, uh oh, Lord, from love and blessed. She see Naomi could see the hand of God in all of this. And Ruth the Moabite said, He said, oh, he said unto me also, Thou shalt keep fast by my young men until they have ended all my harvest. And Naomi said unto Ruth, her daughter-in-law, It is good, my daughter, that thou go out with his maidens, and they meet thee not in any other field. So she kept fast by the maidens of Boaz to glean into the end of the barley harvest and of the wheat harvest and dwell with her mother-in-law. So she stayed, she, she was in there. And every day she went out, she came back and uh, she made enough for her and for Naomi. And her Boaz made sure that they were going to be okay. Boaz made sure. Now, uh, we're going to finish up next week. I could have finished the whole thing right now, but we're going to finish up next week and we're going to see how God's hand throughout scripture, all the way from Genesis, there is a, this, this idea that we call the, the scarlet thread of redemption where beginning in, beginning in the Garden of Eden when the, the seed of the serpent was prophesied the seed of the, the the seed of the woman was prophesied to crush the serpent's head, but he's gonna bruise his heel. That was in Genesis chapter three. This was the first prophecy of the coming of Messiah, who would crush the serpent's head, the serpent devil. The devil gonna cause him damage. But the devil is going to be defeated. This was the first messianic prophecy. And as we go through the Old Testament, we saw where through the, through the line of Abraham, all the nations of the earth are going to be blessed. Through the line of David, all of the, there, there, God would establish a kingdom through the line of David that would bear no end. But that, that line was almost cut off. And we're going to see how that line was was reconnected in this book, in chapters 3 and 4. I can't wait. Father in heaven, we thank you for the opportunity to, to just unveil this, this great truth, this fantastic book. These stories are more than just story, Bible stories. You, you are relaying how you relate to your people, how your plan, even though in the midst of bad choices that we might make, all things work together for the good to those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And we see that played out right here in these verses, right here in this book. So we thank you. We thank you for what you got in store for us as we unveil and unfold these great truths. And then do we praise your name tonight. And we ask it all in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. Uh, I'm tempted to go all the way through, but I, I said I was just going to do verse chapters 1 and 2 tonight. Next week we're going to finish it up. This is a fantastic book. But remember let me go back to chapter 1 verses 16 and 17. These were the words that Naomi that Ruth told Naomi when Naomi tried to get her to go back to her mama. Ruth said entreat me not to leave thee or return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. Uh, I use this scripture when dealing with couples. When a man marries a woman, you leave your mom and daddy, and when you leave your past behind, and your your new spouse becomes your 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 new family. Your people going to be my people. Your God, my God. My, 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 my. You're going to see y'all next time. Uh, those of you that may want to give to the ministry, you may do so using Cash App or Zelle. Dollar sign green WL. Zelle 689-246-5892. Um, we see y'all on Sunday morning. We will have worship service at the meeting room. At Holiday Inn Express at 7474 
West Colonial Drive at the Holiday Inn Express right behind the IHOP and the Hook and Reel at Dorshire and 50. Uh, Father in heaven, we thank you. We praise your name tonight. We magnify your name. And we ask it all in Jesus' name for his sake. Amen. 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 Amen